And just playing off of that, and maybe you'll get into this, but you know, you said when you first sat out to create Wishlist Member, you really didn't think about the big picture or long term. Yeah. And, and, and honestly, I've I've done that and have been through that <laughs> process, and it it sucks, frankly. Uh-huh. And you you kind of learn your lesson. So I'm just wondering your thoughts on having been through that. And uh, I tell I tell these guys all the time that you should assume that every application you build is going to turn into a, a big application. Exactly. Because if you design it from the start to be that way, it may never turn out that way, mm-hmm. but it'll be written better anyway. And if it does, you're going to be set up for, for the more long term. So do you have any, I guess what I'm getting at is do you have any regrets in terms of how you first, wrote it first? first wrote it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, with the first version of Wishless Member, it was, you know, works, was nice. Stu... The, the the one of the co-founders of Wishes Products was happy with it, mm-hmm. but then um, then he started having you know I want this to be <laughs> added in here and uh, I think this would be a good idea and I was like dang I should have thought of that right from the start right? which every client's gonna do right yeah that is that is right and I was so used to, like with my previous projects that I, they would give the whole picture of what's going to be what's going to be done what's going to be used for and things like that so I tend to map those things out. But with this project, I was just like, yeah, let's just do it for this one guy, right? In a way, you're right that, you know, you have to assume that the application is going to be created, uh, sorry, uh, improved even more as you go along, that people are going to ask for more, you know, uh, features to be added into it and stuff like that. So that would be the second thing. You have to make your application as modular as possible, mm-hmm. as easily extensible as possible. Now, I'm going to push back on you there uh-huh. because I know I say that all the time and and. I know when you say, I know what you're talking about when you say make it modular. Yeah. But a lot of beginning coders out there don't understand what that means in making Mm. it modular. They don't understand what it means, how to do that, and why that's important. Can you dive into that a little bit? 